In this video, I'm going to talk about the ECS ASG Blueprint and uh, how it's highly available. So uh, I'll show you that you can actually do an in-place update here with this Blueprint and this stack and not have to worry about downtime. And the reason that this is achievable is because this Blueprint makes use of something called auto-scaling lifecycle hooks. There's a Lambda function that's associated with these auto-scaling lifecycle hooks that actually waits for the um, container instance to drain all the Docker containers before it moves on to the next instance. This is how it's achieved, okay? Uh, there's a special flag that we're gonna use, it's force underscore update. That's gonna kind of trigger, uh, basically a force to update. So I'll kind of show you all this. I'll give you a quick demo. So um, first, I guess I'll show you the current setup. I've already deployed the stack. Here's the stack kind of running as a, a basically I put um, together a complete edge case scenario here where there's only one instance left. Usually you, run one, you want to run more than one instance, but like I'm making sure that there's only one instance. On top of that, I'm making sure that there's only one Docker container running on that instance. So this is really kind of, this is like an edge case scenario here. This is worst case. And then uh, I also put together a dashboard, um, a dashboard, a CloudWatch dashboard here, monitoring basically the endpoint. And we're gonna make sure that this stays 100% the whole time. So that's basically the setup. And now we're gonna go ahead and go update the stack. So let's go ahead and Google update the stack. I already have the command ready here. You just go force update. And then what that does is that add that timestamp, and then I'm gonna uh, just kind of go sure so I don't I can bypass all the prompts here. So as an employee of the ECS stack, and you can see that it's gonna generate a couple of different previews. Lono generates three different previews: a parameter preview, a code dip preview, and here's the code dip preview. What this is is this is part of the user data right now, and uh, you can see that I kind of removed the previous random timestamp I had and added a new random timestamp. So this kind of forces a rolling update. Okay. And then it uh, shows you what resources are gonna be modified by the change set preview. Okay, and now it's doing update in progress. And the update in progress, what it's gonna do is since this auto scaling is gonna provision, it's gonna increase capacity so it could provision uh, additional instances and then it's gonna uh, go back to the original capacity. Okay, <clears throat> so that's what it looks like on the uh, CLI there. Let's look at in the auto scaling group itself. So we click down here, click on auto scaling group, you can see activity history. Now, um, these are from the old uh, scaling activities I was testing, so it hasn't gotten that part yet. But you can see it did change it from uh, one instance to three desired. It's uh, rounding up a little bit here, but essentially just over provisioning so then you could uh, add more, more instances. Uh, you can see the lifecycle hooks right here. There's two lifecycle hooks for launching and terminating. And essentially the lifecycle hooks is gonna wait and, uh, until these ECS containers right here drain all the dock containers. So right now that's what the state is, is this one active container with one running instance there. So let's see, wait right here, let's go here, back to activity history. And now you can see it's launching new instances. I just refreshed it and it's launching new instances. And then it's gonna get to the point where it's gonna start waiting for the lifecycle hook and then kick off the ECS uh, drain call for this instance, okay? So that's gonna take a, a little time to get to that point. So I'm gonna pause the video so y'all don't have to wait. Unpause at this point right now because uh, it launched the instances successfully, and then you can see it says waiting for terminate lifecycle action. So, what it's doing right now is that Lambda function is waiting for this drain to complete. See, so it actually kicked off the draining already, and you can see it's draining these other instances now and it has one active instance here. So, it's gonna wait until this uh, doc container moves into uh, here, and then we'll be uh, uh, good to continue. I guess it, it over provisioned a little bit, so kind of moving on and it's kind of getting rid of that instance. But the important thing is this was our our previous active instance and it needs to move that container from here to there, okay? And the whole time while this is happening, we're gonna have 100% uptime, okay? So uh, let's wait for that to kind of go happen, okay? And um, it also it kind of depends, just one caveat, it does depend on your application. If your application is like slow to boot up, then it's it, you got you guys can have some downtime there, right? So your application needs to uh, be responsive enough and all that, okay? But the infrastructure is there and the setup is uh, geared to give you 100% uh, availability during a, an update, okay? So uh, waiting for this, now is it. So this is kind of, it started a new container here, see? And it's still leaving this container behind because what ECS does is it's actually graceful here. It will start a new ECS task ensure that Docker container is running and then ensure that ECS service stabilizes before it then kills this old container off, all right? So it's not gonna kill it. 
And there, I just refreshed and now it's completely successfully killed that container off. This has gone to draining state, has zero tasks running. So lifecycle hook should start continuing here. So you go back over here. It's basically successfully terminated that instance. It's waiting for another lifecycle action there. Uh, maybe, I think this is actually the one that it's waiting for still. This one is probably the one that kind of terminated earlier. It does take some time for the APIC calls to kind of be made and all that. Okay, so this is actually deregistering now. So that should uh, be finishing up uh, rather uh, shortly. But I'm going to pause so y'all don't have to wait anyways. So that has successfully finished um, terminating the old instance. If you go here, you refresh, that's now gone. Uh, and then we also check CloudWatch again, and it's been 100% uptime the whole time. And this is a very edge case scenario here. You don't want to really want to run one instance and one container, but I, I scaled it down to one instance and one container just to demonstrate that even in this edge, edge case scenario, the lifecycle hooks behave the way uh, they're supposed to, and uh, you, you can maintain kind of 100% availability, right? Um, okay, so I think that is it. That covers uh, it. I just want to really want to demonstrate how you could actually do perform a rolling update with this blueprint. This blueprint is designed to, to kind of ensure high availability here. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. Cheers.